the, or try to hit, to hit the lights. And I'd like you to just lower your shoulders. Unclasp your hands. Put your feet flat on the floor. Take a nice deep breath. And breathe in love. And exhale all that isn't. Let's do this one more time deeply. Breathe in love. And exhale all that isn't. Each one of you is a wonderful, wonderful harbinger of all that is positive. As you walk through your life, each person you meet, pass on love. But to pass on love to everyone you meet, you have to have it within you. And every time you think of something that isn't lovely, or isn't good, or isn't holy, let it go. I talk to people when I do readings about releasing. And what my guide says, the best thing to do is write it all down, tear it up in little bitty pieces, and flush it down the toilet. Because he says that's where all that stuff needs to go. That we don't need to put any more negativity in the environment and the Milpitas treatment plants taking care of everything you're letting go of. Release the things within you. Think back to childhood when there was anger and frustration and release it. And now move a little bit forward into when you were going to school and there was frustration in class or a teacher that told you you weren't good enough. And release it. And as you move forward, move forward to when you first started hearing about racism, negativity, people being stupid or no good. Release all of that prejudice that you learned from home or from TV or from kids in the schoolyard. Let it all go right now. And as you move forward into your teenage high school years, all of the things where you felt you weren't good enough, where you might have been teased about your weight or the color of your skin or the length of your hair or the quality of your clothes. Think about those things and release them. <coughs> Just let them go. And then on to the time when you started dating and meeting new people and finding out who you are and maybe feeling not as good as everybody else. Let it go. And then the first time you fell in love and maybe it didn't work out. You might have carried a little bit of frustration or anger, feeling that you weren't worthy. Let it go. And keep doing that in your life as I'm here with you, guiding you through all the times in your life that you felt belittled or less than. And owned it. Let it go. Words are not things. We make them things, but words are on the air and we can be released with a moment's thought or a prayer or a blessing. Just let go. All the today is holding you down. If you're upset about politics, if you're upset about the climate, if you're upset about the, uh, anybody that is causing you harm, by saying something or writing something on Facebook or whatever. Let it go right now. You're in charge of your life. And now that you keep letting go and letting go and letting go, bring in the Creator. For all of those things that you released, bring in love. Bring in love for you as a small child. <coughs> Bring in love for you as a first grader going to school for the first time. 
feeling frightened and afraid. Now put love into that child. Put love into all of the growing up that you did. Any mistakes you made, the package of gum you stole from the 7-Eleven, release it. It's old anyway. And bring in love. Let God shine on you for that. All of those little things you're still holding on to, as you release them, put love in. God's love can flow anywhere. All you need to do is open up and let it come in. Take another nice deep breath. Breathe in, love. And now when you exhale, one more time. Breathe in, love. And exhale all that isn't within you. Your shoulders are down. Your energy is pure. Your aura is cleansed. And you're ready to face a day with a smile and God in your heart. And now we're going to ask the choir to come up and sing to us and put music in our heart. Thank you.